Street TV family. Catch us live on your TV screen. Welcome back from the ad break, everybody. You're still tuned in to XA. I'm still, I won't get to live. And I promised earlier, we bring you a new age Kotane. The name is Ukabelo Pito, also known as Material Gordon. Homie, welcome to the show. Thank you for making time for us. Thank you for welcoming me to the show. I'm glad to be here. Uh huh. So for the people who do not know, what is this Kotane? Because I remember back in high school, there was this documentary that aired. I missed it, unfortunately, but it was a wave. Kotane this, Kotane that, Altramel. Can you explain what this Kotane is for the viewers who missed that documentary as well? This Kotane is like uh, any subculture of South Africa. Like I'm a fast school or I'm a food, you know? Uh -huh. So this Kotane uh, is only like a, a person with his own different style. Like, it's nothing about burning money, burning clothes, or pouring out some melodies. It's about our different fashion styles. Uh -huh. So, yeah, it's a style, it's a nothing much. Sure. So, I understand now you are making music and you go by Material Gordon. Please explain what inspired that alias. Okay, me. I used to have the nickname Yep yeah, yeah, well, on the street because of my gold grills, they have not so bad. Sure. Uh, material one is our surname. Everyone in, in the group, material culture, uh, we have our nicknames and then material is our surname in the group. So if you, me, I'm material for them, there's material for that, material so, you know. So material is our nickname in the crew, and then, yeah, the nickname will fall. Uh-huh. So tell me more about the crew. What are you, are you guys all musicians? What is material? Group, the group that you are referring to. What do you guys do? Material culture is just, just a crew inside uh, the, the Kotani culture, but anyone inside the crew can be whatever they want to be in life. Me and an artist, they are shapes, they are DJs, they are graphic, uh, graphic artists, they are videographers, they are everything. Uh -huh. Anything you want to be, become. In fact, uh, material culture doesn't limit from doing anything, or it doesn't focus on the entertainment part of life, but can see whatever you're gonna become, and then the, the material part of life just go your lifestyle on the side. You see, there's nothing to do with your life or to oh, control okay. you of anything. Yeah. Okay. You mentioned that you are an artist. I understand that you studied IT. You're an IT graduate, and I hear in the streets that you were a killer in high school. You were at top <laughs> mass, a student, uh, a student, yeah. and so forth. Tell me about your music journey. When did it start? The dance and music, the love that you have for that. When did it begin? Uh, me, I've been introduced to the music industry before I was even an artist. Um, we were dancing, we were backup artists, we were uh, backup dancers for many artists around South Africa. So uh, we've been in the industry uh, before we even started singing. We were dancing for artists all over the country, uh -huh. from the Afro uh, artists, from the guys here in Joburg, you know. So, and then we started making our first song, uh, it was back in the days of Go 2017. DJ, Ma DJ Mapurisa once called us to a studio to make a song. And then I started a lap for 2017. And mm -hmm. then uh, I was working with my crew, Material Culture, we were a team, but then I decided to, to, to venture this music industry on my own and be a solo artist. Mm -hmm. you, you mentioned that you were a backup dancer and I understand this work also took you to Sweden. How was that experience and how has it changed your life? Uh, it was a nice experience, you know, to especially to test for big artists because you go to these big events and so much adrenaline in the in the stage, like the crowd is too much, you know, <laughs> but you just confidence in uh in such in, in, in such situations. But then I uh, I was happy to be part of it. It influenced me and ha uh, made me to gain confidence because I was uh working with people, you know, dancing in front of a crowd is not easy, but then uh yeah. Yeah, give me confidence. I can imagine that it's not easy because every time I try to dance here in the studio, I always get blacklash from the crew. But anyway, moving on, let's talk about the music. You are also worked with an Italian musician, Gali. Yeah, yeah. How was that experience and what have you learned from it? Uh, Gali once uh, came to South Africa to shoot a music video. He's an Italian pop star. So mm -hmm. we came to South Africa in 2017 to shoot a music video. And then uh, he called us, he told us that he was following us from Italy. Then he called us to his music video. He told the production that we were shooting here in South Africa that he needs us. He, he 
he showed us our pics and then they knew us and then they called us to, to his shoot. And then after the shoot, he was very happy with our style, how we looked, uh, how we were dancing. And he called us to his tour in 2018 in Italy. We went there to perform with him. We also pick up dancers of him um, for two weeks in Italy. Uh, that was an experience of a lifetime. Uh, yo, yo, it was, yo, I can't even explain it. Was, yo, like something that I've never experienced. Uh, performing in other countries is such a different experience. They live a different lifestyle. You uh -huh. know? People go to shows with their parents and kids, wow. but in South Africa, we know uh, you can't dance with your father. <laughs> Yeah, that's correct. It seems like you're well traveled, one could say. Does that influence your new your music? The music that you make. I understand that you also released an EP in 2019 called New Kid on the Block. Tell us about the type of music that you make. How would you describe the sound? Okay, uh firstly I started uh, making boom, then I because me I move with the times. Uh, <laughs> then I did piano because also I live in Jubek. What is trending in Jubek is Asama piano. Yes. So uh, me, I'm, uh, I like making music that is catchy, that is that the crowd can relate to easily, that can be easily sing, that people can sing along easily too. Uh -huh. So the, the title New Kid on the Block, it was just me making an introduction that the new kid is on the block of the music industry saying Parati. Yes, I need to guys be ready. Yeah. Can can people expect more music from you? What are you currently working on? Uh this year I've only released uh one song uh, titled It's Too Good to Be True, uh featuring Bosch Gazi from the Don't Break It. Uh but I'm going to re be releasing more music uh yeah as the as the year progresses. Then maybe I'll make an EP before the year ends. Uh -huh. so this EP I am guessing will also be a piano. Yeah, Who are you looking into working with in the near future here in South Africa? Uh, in the industry, I'm, I don't want to mention names, but I'm looking forward to working with many artists. But it's not easy to work with artists. You know, others will tell you that they want money, hey. features, or, you know, you need to. Uh, one thing I've learned about artists and featuring them is that you need to know them personally. If you want to work with them, you need to be their friend because. If you're going to email them that, hey, let's do a, a track, they're going to charge you and all those kind of things. So yes. me, I, for now, I'm working with people that are willing to work with me without any drama. But then <laughs> I'm willing to work with so many artists like yes. Abu Michael TV, Abu Kaza the Small, Jay-Z, you know, uh -huh. yeah, those kind of producers, Abu Pasta, 99, etc. Abu Fukalisti, yeah. I promise you, Material Gordon, after today, when people see you here on Cape Town TV on XL, they will want to work with you. Promise, it's going to do wonders for your career. But I want to find out uh, as an IT graduate, how do you then use this? Does it help you in the industry, the, the qualification that you acquired? Does it in any way do you infuse it? Does it help you? What's the story there? I, me, uh, I chose to live the life that I'm living now because I, I, I saw who it is. Uh, if I go and become an IT technician or work in the IT department, this life that I'm living now is going to stop. And this life, I love it. It's so easy to do for me. It doesn't, uh, when I, I, it doesn't uh, inconvenience me. So yeah. if I chose to go and apply for a job for an IT company, yeah. this life I'm living is going to stop. And you know, I'm going to be living a different kind of life. But I chose to live this life. I faith in this life that I will make it in this life. That makes so of, much of, sense. Of being yeah. an artist. Yeah, it makes so much sense. It's always wise to follow your passion because at the end of the day, you shouldn't feel like work. Where can people find you on social media? People that want to book you, the fans, or people that are interested in working with you? Okay, on on Instagram, I go by material underscore Kabel underscore golden. On Twitter, it's Kabel underscore golden. Uh, Facebook, it's uh, material uh, Kabel golden. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, my brother, and all of the best for the future. Thank you for having me. I hope to, to come to your studio and have an extra interview. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope that will happen soon as well. And you guys right now at home, you have to sit back and relax because it's time for a quick ad break. CTV family.